Welcome back to Ports Out of the Pilots. Times have changed for Portland Volleyball as the Pilots are coming off their best season ever and they're picked to finish third in the West Coast Conference this season. Joining us now is the person responsible for the resurgence of volleyball on the bluff, head coach Brent Crouch. Brent, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, third place finished last year in the WCC. You guys are after a 3-0 start this year and picked to finish third again. The third place prediction, what does that say about how far this program has come? Well, it says a lot. Our, our conference is extremely good, very competitive. Uh, by some measures, it's the third best conference in the country, third or fourth. And uh, to be picked uh, by the other head coaches in our conference to, to finish high uh, is it's a fantastic compliment. Um, clearly, uh, we're seen as a, as a top-level program now. And uh, you know, it doesn't mean a lot more than that. Our conference is so good, I, I could see us anywhere from first to ninth um, you know, once the ball gets out there. But to be picked high uh, is a sign that uh, our fellow head coaches think that we're headed in the right direction. Let's talk about your recruiting a little bit. You and your staff put together the best recruiting class in program history. Mm -hmm. Talk about the impact recruiting has had on your program. Yeah. It's uh, the first few years, um, it didn't have a lot of impact. You know, we had a young team. Uh, recruiting is something that goes on three or four years out. Uh, so the last two or three years, our success has been primarily uh, connected with uh, player development. Uh, we have had some key transfers in Hannah Troutman and Reagan Pucas, but they weren't originally recruited here. Uh, they, they were, of course, major impact players and continue to be, but I think uh, recruiting, uh, you're going to start seeing the effects of that this year. And uh, we already saw it the first weekend. We had some young players do really well. And, uh, and so the next few years, I think you're really going to see you know, the, the benefits of that. And let's talk about that first weekend. You guys went 3-0 down in Wyoming, yeah. won the Rumble in the Rockies. <laughs> And some of those newcomers did make an immediate impact, didn't they? They did. We had two freshmen start. Carrie Williams from Hawaii, she played libero, a position that's, I think, sometimes undervalued, but it makes a, a massive difference. She can serve, receive serves, uh, dig, and, uh, of course, we can't attack the ball unless we're doing those things, and she did a great job. And then Liz Rich played the middle next to the setter, which is a middle position that's particularly important and is doing a fantastic job. We thought she'd have an impact early on, uh, Colorado State Player of the Year, uh, her senior year, and, and she did the first weekend. So the newcomers are impressive, but you also have some important returners as mm -hmm. well. Hannah Troutman was named the tournament MVP. Mm -hmm. Reagan Pukis, career high, 22 kills. Talk uh, about some of your, your returners. Yeah, so Reagan and Hannah are our two left side attackers, which are typically the most important positions on the court. And uh, if you can kill the ball on the left side, you're going to win a lot of matches. And to return both of those players after they both had solid years last year, it bodes well for us this year. It's great. They're much improved from last year. They've spent a lot of time in the offseason working on attacking and then this summer on their own. And, and we saw the fruit of that this first weekend. I think Reagan had a career high in kills and, and Hannah had a great hitting percentage. And, and they still have a lot of room to grow. So I expect them to, to have a nice season, but to be a lot better at the end of the season than they are now. Yeah. So it's probably safe to say Portland Volleyball has entered some uncharted territory. Where do you guys go from here? What is the goal? Yeah, the goal is to win as much as possible. So, uh, you know, of course, we want to win our conference. Um, we want to do that. That's going to be very difficult with BYU and San Diego and some other really strong teams. Um, but that's always the goal every single year. If we win conference, we know we get an automatic bid into the NCAA, which is, uh, which is our other goal. I think we're already good enough to be in the NCAA tournament. I think, I think we were good enough last year. Um, now we just need to you know, win the right games. We need to finish a little higher in conference and, and get that bid. Um, but that's the goal, and it's not unreachable. I, I think it's a possibility in the next few years to get there. Maybe this year. I hope so. Um, but, uh, you know, beyond winning, we don't talk about that a lot in our, in our practice gym or locker room. We're talking about making changes and fixing habits, and, and, uh, and that's the focus of the day-to-day -day things, and that's where I know the focus of our players are. And, um, and we should see some improvement because of that during the season. Now this weekend you're at home for the North Harbor Marriott Challenge. Alabama State, Fresno State, Oregon State all mm -hmm. going to be at the Child Center. Mm -hmm. What can we expect this weekend? Yeah, well all three of those teams are, are strong teams. Fresno State is a physical team. They're usually more physical than we are. We've played them for the last two or three years and uh, they usually are taller and bigger and stronger. I don't expect that to be different this year. 
Um, so that'll be a battle. Uh, Oregon State has started off 3-0 and, and, and perhaps the best conference in the country, Pac-12, so that'll be a battle. They're, they're going to be coming for us since we beat them last year. Uh, in a close five-set match, and Alabama State is typically uh, either winning their conference or in the top few, so um, should be a battle, should be a physical battle, there should be a lot of high-flying blocks and, and attacks and so on, and it should be a lot of fun. And the Beavs, they are obviously an in-state rival. Mm -hmm. uh, does that kind of increase the stakes a little bit? I think so, and uh, you know, as you know, Hannah Troutman was a transfer from Oregon State, and uh, when we played last year, she, I think, had a little bit more emotion involved, and I think it won't be any different this year, knowing Hannah playing our in-state uh, rivals in, in schools. Um, I think everybody just gets a little bit more excited for that. We haven't mentioned your staff yet. Let's uh, yeah. quickly talk about this staff, your staff, mm -hmm. and the impact they've had as well. Yeah, this is. Uh, I've had, I've really been blessed to have great assistant coaches since I've been here. We've, we've had a few move on, one with the national team now, one in Arizona State. Um, and, uh, but I think the staff we have now is, is, is extraordinary. Uh, Jeff Baxter is coming into his second season. Uh, he's got a lot of experience with USA Volleyball. Um, he's coaching our setters, doing our scouting reports. Just a fantastic coach. Betsy Sedlak is heading up recruiting and was a part of putting this, uh, this great recruiting class together and uh, handles defense and, and coaching the middle. She was a great middle blocker at Oregon and UC Davis. And then we've got a fantastic uh, volunteer assistant coach in Rich Muller. And um, he's contributing in, in, in ways that I think go beyond the typical volunteer assistant. And, uh, all of us together, we're all together for our second year, uh, so we're kind of used to coaching with each other and we know how to function in games and there's a comfort level there and it, I think it's paying off already in, in match management and in travel management and uh, relationships with players. Everybody sort of knows what to expect and, and if I could keep this group together forever, I would. I'm really proud of them and I'm very lucky that they're with me. Coach, thank you very much for joining us. Good luck this weekend and the rest of the season. Thank you very much. North Harbor Marriott Challenge going on Friday and Saturday at the Chow Center concludes Saturday night with a match against Oregon State. That match can see, be seen right here on CSN at 6 p.m. Portside of the Pilots continues right after the break.